Local Weather Authority with meteorologist Julie Hendricks. Well, good morning. Not a bad feel out there as the day begins for us right now. We've got 57 Paris, Terre Haute as well out at the airport. 59 down in Vincennes this morning. These temperatures very comfortable as the morning begins. Our dew points are quite low this morning. You can see we've got some dew point readings out there even in the 30s and 40s. So it's dry air is the reason why. But of course, as that dry air cools more quickly, that's what's giving us this very comfortable feel to the morning, almost a cool feel with the winds coming out of the northeast. Our flow once again starting the week is going to be out of that general direction. And there's a couple of things happening as a result of that. First of all, I want to mention we do have an air quality alert to include just a few of our counties down to the south here today. Uh, again, standards will be met with air quality because of temperatures. Also, we've got this haze coming in from these uh, Canadian and wildfires and I think the southeastern counties kind of when you calculate everything and the EPA looks at that they say look we think these areas will meet those air quality standards you can clearly see that flow again coming in out of the northeast here there are some clouds off to the north this morning once we get the Sun up and we check out the visible satellite as we get through the early part of the day today and of course later today you'll see that with Jesse will will you be able to show you where this haze is located directly associated with these wildfires in Canada. We don't need haze. We really, what we need is rain. We are in such dry conditions at this point. These drought monitor standards will be uh, updated for us as we head through the middle part of the week. But as we ended last week, nothing has changed with the fact that we do have dry to moderate drought conditions for parts of the Wabash Valley. We desperately need the rain. We have some chances in our forecast. First chance comes as we head Tuesday night into Wednesday. We're going to have a little frontal boundary come down into this area. Now, this isn't the kind of rain we really need. It's just a slight chance of some light showers, but at least the opportunity is there, limited as it may be. We have a chance early Wednesday. A much better chance as we get into the end of the weekend. Now we see that pattern breaking for us of the control out of the northeast and we finally see a front that's going to come through this area by Sunday. We think finally a little pattern change could lead to some much needed rain for our area. So we're going to keep a close eye on what's happening through the course of the week as we get into Sunday and until then our temperatures are going to stay cool. Again, we've got that flow coming in out of the northeast. And when I say cool, I mean compared to where we were this weekend. Still going to be warm, still going to be summer like, but we're not looking at those 90s. Instead, we're backing off of that. As a matter of fact, we're looking at temperatures as we head toward the end of this week and through early next week that may actually average slightly below where they would normally be by a degree or two. So today's temperatures top out mid 80s for us. It'll be sunny, but that hazy condition will be noticeable today as we get that flow in here from the northeast and the smoke in the air will mix down to the surface at times, part of the air quality issue in some parts of the valley. 54 tomorrow morning makes for another comfortable start to Tuesday. Clouds increase a bit later Tuesday. That may lead to some early showers Wednesday. Fingers crossed we all could use it. Dry to end the week and dry to start the weekend. Sunday of the day we're focused on what could be some much needed rain for the Wabash Valley Shelby. All right.